The combustion turbine mechanical package houses the components that make up the lubricating oil system. The lubricating oil system provides an uninterrupted supply of filtered oil at the required temperature and pressure to lubricate the combustion turbine bearings. Lubrication is also provided to the starting package bearings and is used as the working fluid for the starting package torque converter. The lubricating oil reservoir occupies most of the lower part of the mechanical package. There are two identical 100% capacity AC pump motors located on the top of the oil reservoir. An emergency DC motor driven pump is mounted in the lubricating oil reservoir. The DC oil pump supplies oil to the bearings if the normal oil pressure is lost. The two 100% capacity vapor extractors located on top of the lubricating oil reservoir create a slight negative pressure in the oil tank and system that helps remove air and aids in draining the bearing cavities. Two 100% capacity lubricating oil coolers are mounted on the roof of the mechanical package. The coolers are of a plate type construction using closed cycle cooling water for heat exchange. A temperature regulating control valve maintains the lube oil at the desired operating temperature. Downstream of the lubricating oil cooler is the duplex lubricating oil filter assembly. The unit is made up of two 100% capacity oil filters connected by a manual transfer valve. Online cleaning of the out of service filter unit can be accomplished by transfer and isolation of the dirty filter. Two accumulators are located downstream of the lubricating oil cooler to help dampen pressure surges in the system to maintain a stable oil flow and pressure to all bearings at all times. The instrument air compressor and storage tank provides a backup supply for pneumatic control devices. Normal air supply for pneumatics is supplied by the combustion turbine compressor discharge when the unit is in operation. The auxiliary air compressor supplies instrument air when the combustion turbine is not in operation. The pressure switch and gauge cabinet houses pressure and indication instruments that are used to monitor the system.